Yeah. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't very talkative, are you? No. Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me, there's things you're better off not knowing. You don't look much like no blackboarder, fella. That's because I ain't. If I'm being honest, I don't care much for those high flute and big city types. Not much at all. Blackwater ain't much of a city. More of a town with delusions, but no, me neither. told me he was out in Blackwater a few months back and saw one of them newfangled carriages without horses. Is that so? Hey, you wind him up like a clock. Damnedest thing he ever saw without the aid of liquor, he told me. Times are changing fast, that's for sure. So who's this friend you're looking for? Nobody you need to concern yourself with. Never you mind all my questions, Mr. Marston. I just reckon you might be barking out of not heading for the fort. We'll see when we get there. Well, I sure as hell ain't sticking around. Fort Mercer ain't no place for an old man like me to be a dawdling around. Come on! I tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> Not far now. You'll see the fort when you get to the top of this hill. Come! Come on! Whoa there! Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> yeah. for you. Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill. I implore you, think about this. 
<laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! Implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh! I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? Trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance, for old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him, long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna Take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind.
Marston. Back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Hop on up. You won't bite. Gee up! Let's make a tour of the ranch so you can get your bearing. Come on! is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Cold drink, Mr. Marston. Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. Come on, then. Let's mount up and take a look around. Someone's along with me. 
I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. Plenty of ground to cover. Let's go! If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Good shooting, Mr. Mark. 